Welcome to Skyblog, where we're on a tiny island in the void with limited resources that we can use to grow and expand. For our first time playing, I think we're doing quite well so far. We have a little island of stuff, a mob farm that works beautifully, and minimal errors along the way. For everything we want to do today, I think we need to do quite a lot of resource gathering. For all of our making new platforms and bridging to faraway islands, we're going to need a lot of wood and a lot of cobble, so we need to get chopping some trees and grinding some cobble. And a bit of farming never hurt anyone, because we always need more food. Okay, that is the trees chopped. But I am finding myself putting off the part of Skyblock where we just have to mine at the cobble generator. It's really not the most interesting part, but we do need cobble. Also, we're going to turn down hostile mobs. You are very annoying. Did you know that? I don't think he cares. I think now we have a bit of everything we need, but our storage is really bad. Between all the stuff we've been collecting and all the stuff from the mob farm, it's getting out of control. For now, we will do this, and over here we can have a mob loot chest. Um, where should we put this thing? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Why is it always dominated by the creepers? Maybe the chest can just go in here. Oh, we got redstone. That must have been from a witch. Okay, so with some minor organization, now we have cobble, wood, and everything else. And it's kind of crazy what good organizing can do. I mean, not that this is good, but I just realized that we have 13 dirt. I've been wanting more dirt and I did not know we had this. Actually, I'm going to pop it back because my next plan is to get even more. It helps us with farming and growing trees, so definitely worth it. Especially since our current farm is really tiny. So we're going to do some bridging to some new islands. Let's have a look at our options. So we went to the Spruce Island and just about decimated it. We have a mushroom island over here, which is cool, but I don't think we need to go there urgently. And then, oh, jungle. Wait, that has melons and cocoa beans and a new flower. Okay, I think we'll go there, but we've also been to the mangrove island and we haven't taken all the dirt from that. So I think I'll start there. Oh, also, wait, here's some more islands. Okay, I should probably turn my render distance up. We have dark oak and birch. Oh, I would love dark oak, but I feel like it's a little further than the jungle one. Let's have a look at it from over here. Maybe it'll be kind of closer to the mangrove. Well, I mean, it's still really far away. I think we will just go to the jungle island first. And we'll grab this. After heading back with some dirt, I then bridged over to the jungle island. Were there yet? Oh, so close. I'm definitely getting a bit better at this bridging thing, but I still feel like we could fall off any minute. I think that when we get there, we won't actually take the whole tree, because I'm scared that we might not get saplings. I know the jungle ones are kind of rare, but we could probably increase our luck with fortune or something. Let's go like this, and a flower. And then we'll take some of the dirt and some of the cocoa beans, and a couple of logs to go with them. And of course, the melon. And we return with 15 dirt, some food, a flower, and some logs. Not bad. And with everything we've collected, I feel like it must be time to reorganize our farm. Wouldn't you think? This armor is ridiculous. We've got to take some off. So our current farmlands consist of this, and for some reason they're surrounding the cobble generator. That doesn't really make sense at this stage, so we're going to separate them. Okay, and this is where we're at so far. I've just been trying to transfer the grass from this level to this level, so that the whole thing can be elevated a little. And we'll do it over here. Okay, we'll keep letting that grow and we'll get this last bit of grass. We've got this little area down here that I've been using to make sure the grass doesn't fall into the void. And we can clean this up a little bit and then add a ladder to go up and down. And to make the cobble generator, I have some stone, which we can turn into stone bricks, and we'll make a little thingy. Then I realized to center the generator on the platform where we're going to have to move all of our chests out of the way. So here we are, moving them to a random corner. I was also back at the mob farm between all of this and we got our first potato there.
Okay, this is the progress so far. So we have a new nicer cobble generator here and I couldn't remember if trapdoors burn, so I decided to use this and just see what happens. But it doesn't seem to be burning, so that's good. Then next to it, we have this area with most of our farming stuff. There is carrots, wheat, potato, and sugarcane. Oh, and our first pumpkins are growing. That's exciting. We also have sweet berries over here, and we still need a spot for cocoa beans and melons. But I think we'll close off the outside of these with trapdoors since this doesn't seem to be burning. They should be safe. Here we go. Just a simple lining like this. Oh, there's burning. Okay, what? Uh, hmm. So the trapdoor doesn't burn, but the cobble is burning? I don't understand fire. There's not much wood nearby, so we'll just see. It'll be fine. Now, in order to have room for melons and cocoa beans, we're going to have to take these trees down. And then we won't have any trees on this island, and that'll be our new problem. So I think we go cocoa beans on this side and melons over here. I don't think we'll need that many cocoa beans, though. I don't think we'll be eating a lot of cookies. Melons are very dirt intensive when you think about it. So this is only enough for three, but that is what we're doing. And with that done, we desperately need more room, so we're going to get straight to making some more platforms. I want this to look symmetrical, so all of the platforms coming off our main island need to look like the one the mob farm is on. That means they're going to be small, but then we can have another outer ring of bigger platforms again. So for the moment, we have two new little islands. And I think one of them will be a little tree farm for now. We can set this up here, maybe. And then for the other one, we need to sleep first. I've ended up putting my bed down here. Just have it somewhere a little out of the way, but close by. But for the other island, I was kind of hoping it could be for our nether portal. But then I realized there might be a little problem with that. We have made this out of wood, and I think the only way we can get to the nether involves making a fire. But obviously we don't want to burn this whole thing down. I really want the portal to go there though, so I think we're gonna just kind of risk it. Ah, it's not gonna be centered either, is it? No, it's fine. Maybe one day there'll be a way to get more obsidian. In the end, I'm not really sure how fire works, but I'm gonna try and fireproof the ground around it. Just by going like this. And then I think if we purposely burn some wood, there's a chance that it'll set the portal alight. Okay, hopefully this works. I feel like this is going to take ages if it does work. But I'm not going to multitask. We're going to sit here and watch it to make sure we don't catch everything on fire. A few moments later. Oh, it works already. And everything's on fire. Wait, that was so fast. It only took like a minute. And everything's not on fire. Love that for us. I have no idea what to expect in the skyblock nether. I feel like maybe it'll be a bunch of islands with all the nether biomes. But we'll take all this ugly cobble down and then we'll go have a look. Okay, I'm a little scared, but we're wearing our gold even if it's about to break. It's unfortunately all we've got, so let's just hop in. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, there's terrain. We are on an island. This is good, good start. Oh, what's over there? There's, is that like a fortress? Oh my gosh, there's gold. Yes, wait, can I break this with stone? Okay, I hope so. Please work. Wait. Did that? No! Okay, well, that was a big waste. Um, we're gonna expand this a little bit. I wonder if we turn up render distance, maybe we'll be able to see more islands. Okay, there's something over there. I'm a little terrified, but we're bridging. I also don't know if we're doing this a little prematurely. Maybe we're meant to get a shield and good armor. And then do the terrifying nether. Oh, I can see another island. Do you see that? That is a warped forest. Or at least a singular warped tree. Oh my gosh, we're so close. I think I see a chest in there. Oh, we're about to find out. Okay. <gasps> is that nether wart? And glowstone? It is! And shockingly, nothing's actually spawned here. Oh my gosh, we're getting this. We'll leave it one here, just in case we somehow die with all of it. And I don't know if we can get this with stone. Oh, we can! Is there anything else here? What's up here? I think this is it. I don't know how we're meant to get blazers. There's nothing down here, is there? I think it's just solid. I guess what we'll do is we'll take this soul sand home and then we'll grab more blocks to bridge with and keep looking around. 
I want more cool nether blocks to decorate our portal island with. I got quickly distracted though and started on a completely different task when I saw a chicken in our mob farm. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken in there. Okay, we need to get rid of all the other mobs, especially the creepers, and then block everything off. Okay, chicken guy. Come on. Oh, got him. Wait, ow, he's hurting me. Okay. I wonder if he'll burn in the sun. Follow me. Yes, he's burning. Yes, yes, yes. And then we'll just have a chicken. He's gone. Our first chicken. I wonder if you'll lay us an egg and bring us more chickens. Ah, oh, I love this. Okay, what are we going to do with you? You will go on a lead, right? Oh, yes, you will. And then we can do some temporary fencing and then make a real home for him. This also allows us to put off going to the nether, which is always a good thing. Okay, little chicken, you are going in here for now. And we will make you an island. I think in case we somehow acquire more animals in future, we need a whole platform for them. So we're going to build out over here. And I left the grass over here on purpose so that we can extend it onto the platform in case we get sheep because they need to eat grass. But for now, another oak and spruce platform means we need to gather more wood. So back to the grind. So then we got to work making another platform. And we're going to need to spread the grass over here. So let's do that. This might take a while. So in the meantime, we will do a little bit of farming and a little more mob grinding. Oh, and we're out of fences. Oh, also at this point, we have managed to get a little bit of iron from our mob farm. We have four pieces. We might want one for a shield eventually, but for now, I think we can make shears. These may not be terribly practical right now, but they give us leaves. We can decorate with them. Maybe we'll add some little like plant thingies like this around the edges. And even just like this. After placing leaves, I went over to my mob farm and I found a baby zombie villager. So naturally, we had to get him out and put him in a boat. And I managed to get him in the same boat as this other guy, which is very convenient. I don't even know if I've seen one of you before, like ever. He doesn't seem to be growing up either. We're going to have to de-zombify them at some point. Also, I decided with the leaves that we were just going to do a kind of overhang like this. You can kind of see the idea over there at the mob farm. Or maybe if I just go into free cam, there we go. This is looking cute. The other thing I've been doing while literally waiting for grass to grow is cleaning up our nether portal area, which we still need to finish. So I added some nethery steps going up and we need to do this. I think once we have nether woods, we can replace these trapdoors with something more nether themed. Okay, if we get more nether blocks, we'll do some serious improvements on this platform, but I think for now this will do. And then back to our chicken, where our grass has actually finished growing. So this is our platform. If we ever get sheep, they'll be able to eat this. And our one chicken who's a great disappointment and hasn't laid any eggs. I actually googled it and apparently the jockey ones do not lay eggs. So you are essentially useless unless we get another one and then we can breed them. Anyway, there's a lot more beautifying that I'd like to do. I kind of need some more mangrove wood and also now that we have shears, we can decorate with vines and also maybe we could hang glowberries off here. We need to do something with this one day. And of course there's new islands to bridge to. I'd love to go get some mushrooms. But I think we will leave it here for today. We've made some good progress with all of these little islands bridging off. And we went to the nether and got our first animal. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!